Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm back with another video, this time to show some of the features of Country Cow Design's newest pattern called the Momexa. This was a pattern I was lucky enough to test. I really enjoyed making it. I love how different and unique it is from the hardware. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you're going to see on the bag is these O-rings. These are different. I had never used these before on a bag, so I was really excited to get to make a bag with those on it. Um, the O-rings help hold these little straps on the front. If you can't get O-rings or don't have any, or you just don't like the look of the O-rings, you can always just stitch this strap straight across and add the rivets where she says. It would still be a really beautiful bag. The bag also has this zipper pocket on the front. Anybody who knows me knows I love zipper pockets. Oops, I forgot I had that in there. Anybody who knows me knows I love zipper pockets. So there's the zipper pocket, nice and big. It will fit a phone inside. There you go, fits my phone. The back of the bag, if you wanted to, you could repeat the front of the bag and add that same zipper pocket on the back and have an extra pocket if you'd like. There's also this tassel. There's my cat, Buddy. Wants to say hello again. Buddy, say hi. Buddy, you say hi. We're going to leave her because last time I took her off, she made a big squawk and kept trying to come back. So there's also a tassel. You can clip it to one of the O-rings or where I like to clip mine is right onto the rectangle ring on the side of the bag. I just like how this looks. Find it doesn't take from the front features of the bag. Then when we open the bag, there is... A zipper end on your zipper you could if you do not have access to getting these metal zipper ends you can just use a piece of fabric and um, or if you used faux leather or whatever you used for your bag you can just use that to make a zipper tab here on the end inside the bag it's a nice little roomy bag cute little crossbody bag there is a zipper pocket there is an option where well not an option in the pattern but just an option that you could Repeat this zipper pocket for the other side of the interior of the bag, add a slip pocket. It's just nice because it gives you some extra options when there's not um, too many directions for what you do on both panels. The bottom of the bag is Decoville, so it gives a nice sturdy base. I really loved making this pattern. I love how unique and different it is. Love all the extra features. Again, if you can't get O-rings, don't fret. You can simply just take this strap and extend it all the way across, sew it on. You can even skip this altogether if you don't like the look of that at all and just have your zipper pocket. You can omit the zipper pocket. That would make this a super quick sew. I found even with all these details, it was still a really quick and easy sew. The instructions are really clear and easy to understand. This bag, again, is from Country Cow Designs. She also has um, another bag called the Lomexa, which is, is bigger than this bag uh, with a couple of different features. It's going to be another one that I'm going to make very soon. If you watched my unboxing video, I got more of these O-rings in, so that's what I bought it for was to make um, the Lomexa. When I get that finished, I will do a little video, and if I still have this bag in my stash, I'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison just so you can see the size difference of the two. If you're a crossbody fan, this is definitely a bag for you. I'm a bigger bag girl. I like bigger bags. I tend to carry a lot. My husband always asks if I have a black hole in my bag because I always have so much in it. So I'm thinking the Lomexa is going to be the one I'm really going to love. Also, just to mention, all my hardware is from Zipper Valley. So I got to use these little handmade um, zipper pulls because I did not want to have a handmade label. I thought it would take from the focus of these features of the bag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, or not tutorial, sorry, this video um, about the Momexa. And if you want to purchase the pattern, I will put the links below in the description, as well as the links to Zipper Valley. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.